Hey guys, this is my first YouTube video. I've never recorded myself and I'm really proud of myself for doing this because I have so much stuff to say. It's it's crazy. Like I just find myself talking to myself all the time and like explaining myself like to myself, like talking in my head like long crazy stuff that I'm like, dude, I just have to record this and put it on camera because I'm a Gemini. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. I got stuff to say. Okay. I got a lot of stuff to say. Do you know how much knowledge I retain? That's just like, I don't think it's useless, but damn, it's got to go somewhere. Like somebody's got to hear this man. Um, yeah. Anyway, I haven't even introduced myself. So my name is Manjari Priya. I am... I'm a spiritualist, I guess you could say. I try and keep it vague because I don't want... I personally would prefer that if... Because here's the thing. If I were to explain what I do and why I do it, I feel... This is how I feel, but I don't know if that's the actual reality. I feel like people might have um, some kind of perception about me. Or some kind of projection, and this is my own projection. Um, some kind of projection about me that may not be accurate, and um, I just I want to keep it clear. I want to keep it keep it clean because because in all reality, I'm just a servant of the divine, and that's what my soul is. My soul is pure. My soul does not belong to this body well this body belongs to my soul and I'm just renting the space my soul, I, who I am is renting this body this is my body but I am the soul so that's who I really am um, my name is Manjari Manjari Priya and yeah, basically I'm just here, like I knew since I was a kid that I came here in this life on a mission, like I just always knew that, I was always aware of like the other side, you know, that there's more than just what we see, you know, in the 3D, um, and obviously as I've evolved and grown as a person, um, I've learned a lot and I've been connected with so many so many angels, um, and I think a lot of people, like human beings, have incarnated on this planet during this time for the transition into the age of Aquarius, and I don't just want to say the age of Aquarius, I want to say the golden age, and a lot of people are saying like, oh, this is the end times, um, but I don't I don't think, I mean, yeah, there might be some, like, apocalyptic-looking externals happening. However, I think that this is just the beginning of, you know, bad things. Things, okay, if we're going to talk about toxicity, like I have been talking about in my other videos, I think that we need to point out that things are dying on a mass level, we, okay, so we got to think about micro and macro, I am a micro, I am one unit, I am one cell of the society, of this being that we call earth, I'm a part of that, I am, you know, I am one unit, but this one unit is a part of the macro, I'm the micro, everything else is the macro, and As a whole, we are we are seeing something collectively happening that's happening individually on a micro level. If I 
I'm destroying toxic traits within myself. Things are dying. Things are ending. Things are leaving. And that's good. That's always good. So if we look at society on a macro, on the big level um, of everyone, we can see that so many things are dying. So many things are leaving. Things are, I mean, literally, subtly, things are changing so much. And of course, it looks like death. It looks like the end. Things are going. Um, but until these negative things go, we will not be able to make room for the positive things, the light, the happiness, the joy, the freedom, the abundance, all things that are uplifting, that are just pure light and pure love. That's who we really are. So it's really important for us to align with those things, for those things to, well, it's really important that we do recognize that because we do have these toxic traits, we have negative things within, um, I mean, not everyone, but some of us, um, and hopefully those of you who are watching this video are gaining something from this and this is helping to uplift you. But yeah, it's, it's just so, it's so obvious to see that everything that is happening on the macro level is happening individually to most people who are doing the work and a lot of people that have incarnated on this earth right now incarnated on this earth for that purpose we are here to change the frequency to uplift humanity that is why we are here i can't say it enough that we are here on a mission we are here to serve the light to serve the abundance um a lot of angels are here right now. Oh, I can't help but get like, ah, oh, chills. It just, it just like honestly moves me to tears because it's incredible. I don't want to get emotional with you guys, so don't cry with me, okay? It's okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, life is beautiful. I feel like these videos are just going to be like literally me just talking. These are like my first YouTube videos, guys, and I'm excited to be sharing with you um, because I just have so much to say. Um, and whoever is here, like, God, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here, and I love you, and I honor you, and gosh, here we are. Life is amazing. You are amazing life is amazing but life is amazing shout out to Lontrell. um but yeah here we are man this is life we are here to serve the highest good of all involved my earth angels where are you at um we are lifting the frequency that's why we're here that's why we incarnated on this earth at this time one of my personal guides um is Quan yen she has come to me for so many years. She came to me for the first time in 2014 when I first moved to Colorado. Um, and I mean, my stories go deep. Comment if you want to hear that story. I just have so many stories with her. I have just been shown so many things with her. Um, and who she is, is the goddess of compassion. Her name is Kuan Yen. Um, and that's her name from China. In China, that's what they call her. And she's basically a bodhisattva. In India, she has another name called Alokateshvar, which, which is, that's the same person. That's just what they call her there. And that means the goddess of compassion or the god of compassion. Um, so it's it's pretty cool to see that she's she's honored in many different cultures and i love that because it just it just brings so much faith that okay these things are real i'm not like totally crazy because i'm sure that all of the light workers out here can get like that sometimes where they find themselves doubting uh like is this real because 
Here we go with the screensaver. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah. So I think a lot of us, you know, lightworkers, in intuition, <laughs> empaths, um, lightworkers, my earth angels, I think that we can find ourselves doubting because, okay, I think that the illusion tries to get us sometimes, you know, and bring our faith down. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of Jesus. And yesterday, a verse from the Bible was brought to me, I think by spirit, talking about how faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. I think it's Matthew 20, no, 17, 20, something like that. Um, but faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. Tell that mountain to move from here to there and it shall move. Um, so faith is so important. We have to have faith in the divine and spirit and, you know, the ultimate source in the universe. Because if that faith is not there, that mountain will not move. You have to have faith in what you are doing and why you are here and that God has always got your back. Spirit has got your back and he is always with you. She is always with you. They are always with you no matter what in this journey and in this life. And I know it's hard sometimes and it's so easy to doubt yourself. But here we are. You know, we're doing it, we're doing the work, and we can see we're not the only ones. You are not alone. I am not alone. We are here in this together, and we incarnated on this earth for a reason. Um, so just want to send love to any of you guys out there that have been doubting yourselves recently. I want you to know, Spirit wants you to know that you are not alone, and this is real. We are here. We are out here, guys. We are out here. Okay? Sometimes, guys, oh, the spirit just flows, okay? And it's just too much energy. Like, I start crying, okay? It's not intentional, okay? It's just a side effect of freaking spirit. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video because, honestly, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I started talking about toxic relationships and toxicity, but this is kind of just turning into, like, a vlog, I guess. I don't even, I'm like literally just talking and it's fun and I was praying that spirit would flow through me and just tell me what I need to say because what else is there to say besides, you know, okay, there's a lot to say, but <laughs> okay, anyways, I love you guys. Um, I'm sending so much love to you, so much abundance. You are amazing. You're not alone. Um, and I hope whoever needed to hear this heard it and that you find yourself full of faith and the divine has your back. Just know that for sure. All right. Love you guys.